Inventory is low, interest rates are going up, the world is on fire, and everything's really, really scary. Or at least that's what we've been hearing. But stick around and I'm gonna tell you why all these seemingly daunting things may be creating the perfect environment for you to take advantage of the market, get into a new home, and come out on top. So we've all heard it many times before. Inventory's super low and you can't find anything. All the homes are selling in less than a week. Great, so there's a problem, right? If I sell, then I'm gonna have to turn around and buy. And I'm in the belly of the beast. Home affordability is going down and I'm not gonna be able to find another home. Well, home affordability is going down, but that doesn't mean that homes are not affordable. In fact, according to NAR, affordability is still better now than what it was in 1990, all the way to the market crash in 2009. And that crash is actually part of the reason why it's going down now. It's because the market never fully recovered. We have never seen a healthy, normal market. It's not because homes aren't affordable. Generally, you might hear lenders prefer that mortgage payments be less than 28% of your income. Well, even with the prices and interest rates causing that medium income percentage to creep up, we're still within the boundaries of that 28% guideline. And this is a great example of the doom and gloom, the sky is falling type headlines when taken out of contents can be very misleading. It's not a bad time to be a home buyer. It might be a little hard and fast to get the listings before they're gone, but financially, it is a great time. Let's compare this to rent prices, which since 2020 have been skyrocketing. At the time of making this video, we're now at a point where the medium priced home is more affordable than the average rent on a th three bedroom property in the majority of the country. Like that's insane. Now, all that being said, interest rates are going up. So not only is there an incentive to make the move now, there's also a cost of waiting. Maybe you know you've got a move coming up in the near future and you're just waiting for the right time. Well, you might be waiting for a really long time. If interest rates go up, say for an example, 1% over the next year, and we're gonna take a $250,000 mortgage to use as an example. Currently, you'd be paying about 1164 a month, okay? If interest rates go up just 1%, that 1164 mortgage payment is gonna go up to 1311. That's a $147 difference on a $250,000 home, or about $30,000 in buying power. That's a huge impact for just putting off your move for one year. Now, we never know exactly how much interest rates are gonna change, but I will tell you at this time, nobody's telling us that they're gonna go down anytime soon. So if you're ready to make the move, or you've been kinda thinking about selling, not sure if it's the right time? The answer is yes, 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 yes. There has been no better time. And the sooner the better. You'll be okay if you wait, but you'll be much better off if you do it now. Take advantage of the market as it is today. Talk to your agent or talk to me. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have, but let's just make it happen.